Now, news are spreading fast, aren't they? We're not gonna have an XH2 in February. Hey guys, good day everyone, Chris here, welcome back to the channel and uh, today we're talking again about the X-H2, the camera that Fujifilm will release at the Fuji X Forum that was supposedly happened in February and now has been postponed to May 2022. They uh, probably decided to take a little bit more time to release this uh, monster of a camera that uh, apparently or by their saying it's gonna be a breakthrough in technology. So. Uh, Let's talk a little bit about it. First, I have a few thoughts about this X-H2 and I didn't want to put them on the table last time because I wanted to uh, talk to you um, in a different video, maybe a little bit closer to the release when we had more information. But now that it has been postponed, I decided to put them on the table and let you know exactly what I'm thinking. There are like three things. And uh, the first one is the fact that I believe this X-H2, it's a little bit too overhyped and people are expecting a messiah of the APS-C sensors. It might be, who knows, but until we have it and until we're gonna uh, you know, test it, we will never know how good it's gonna be. The new sensor, it's gonna be an x 5 sensor, it's the new generation of the x sensor and we have no idea how that will basically play with the colors and how it's gonna play with the rendition, how the AK is gonna be uh, read over the sensor, if it's gonna be a full readout, whoever knows. But uh, I believe again that this is a little bit overhyped and I believe that people are already waiting for this camera like uh, you know hot donuts or uh, whatever uh, the saying is nonetheless uh, maybe we should take a step back and think of what we need and if you need a camera these days if you like Fujifilm and if you want to buy a new Fujifilm camera I advise you to go buy it because you will never know and um, this XH2 that we're all uh, waiting for might come up in May and be available in July so another six months of waiting for you just for something that might not be for you or might not be as good as it sounds you never know. Now in terms of design the XH2 I think it's gonna retain the same design as the XH1 this DSLR um, design that gives you a little bit more grip and it feels better in hand at least for those who like bigger cameras and my thought about this is that it's gonna have a built-in grip and um, that will match the Z9 and the R3 in terms of the trend these days and I think that's a great idea now this is just a prediction and I'm not sure if it's gonna happen but I believe that Fujifilm always been in trend with what happens on the market and that's why there are for 88 years and by the way if you don't know these days it's their birthday it's the 88th birthday of Fujifilm and uh, we should join all and say happy birthday to them and and kudos for being on the market for so long while other companies died uh, in uh, just a few years and um, one example is Samsung who released an amazing NX1 that was basically a camera way ahead of its time and still they're not on the market on the imagery market on the photography market anymore also Olympus but that is a different story so good job uh, Fujifilm for being here and with that experience I believe they're gonna thinking about this uh, kind of trending and come up with a camera that has a uh, built-in uh, grip a battery grip just like the Z9 and the Canon R3 now it might not be like that uh, like I said it's just a prediction I think that will um, rethink everything and come up with this uh, not necessarily a new idea but a uh, innovative idea for the Fujifilm lineup because they don't have something like that but if I'm thinking they do with the uh, GFX 100 line so they already have the technology it's not hard to implement so yeah and the last thing that I want to talk, talk about is the fact that I heard a lot of people saying that the X-H2 is gonna be more like a video camera uh, camera that will provide a lot for videographers and less for photography which I'm not really agreeing though I mentioned that it's gonna be a, a very good video camera I think that the photography 
this side is still going to be very well represented, especially because of the sensor, which is going to be a, a high resolution sensor, higher than the ones on the market right now, which is 26. This one is going to be a 33 megapixel in the X-H2. And uh, plus, I don't see Fujifilm going all in with a cinema camera. Maybe they're going to build that separately. Uh, they have amazing cinema lenses that everyone is using for high productions. So maybe that will be a different gig, a side gig for them. But they will definitely not hinder a camera uh, of features, of a photography features just to have a video, uh, let's say, centric um, camera. And uh, I don't think that one will sell good anyway because of the i3 and because of the Z9 and because of the A7S III and the A1 and so on and so forth. So uh, no, I, it's not going to be a uh, video, just video camera. It's going to be a photography hybrid, probably their uh, best hybrid camera ever released. And that is pretty much it, guys. I wanted to update you regarding the changes with the release of the X-H2. Hopefully this uh, postponed is because they found things that they are not happy with and the camera is gonna come up in May way better that uh, would have uh, came up in February whoever knows uh, the thing is I uh, enjoy uh, having Fujifilm uh, in my bag because they're a company to always think about their customers to listen and understand our needs and that is great don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you did thank you i really appreciate each and every one of you if you don't um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up go watch other videos we have plenty in the playlists in the description below buy me a coffee if you feel uh, like it and if you think that all these videos are helpful and stay focused my friends i will definitely see you in a bit.